Have you ever wondered why Steven Gerrard, Xavi, Iniesta, and Toni Kroos are considered some of the best midfielders in the world? I can tell you why. They have the ability to hit an unbelievable long ball, an unbelievable diagonal ball to switch the point of attack. The main reason why a diagonal ball and a long ball is so important in football is for the ability for the midfielder to switch the point of attack for the team. Generally, one team is gonna shift to one side of the pitch and overload that side so they can win the ball back and immediately counterattack. But that long ball, when the team is shifted to one side, has the ability to immediately shift the team and create your team a goal scoring opportunity. So what I'm gonna do today in this video is show you how to hit a proper long ball. So let's define what a perfect long ball means means. There are three main things. You got to have a good amount of backspin on that long ball. You got to hit it at a perfect height, so to say, and you got to hit it at the right distance. So this is based on where your teammates are and where your opposition is. So the two most common mistakes that I see are a floppy ankle and then either leaning too far back or too far forward. So the number one thing that we want to cover is you got to have that ankle strong. You got to have that ankle locked, you got to have those toes pointed down, and you got to create a nice surface for you to hit the ball with. So main focus, first focus for you is to create that strong locked ankle, toes pointed down, and you want to hit that ball somewhere on the toe box, more close to the big toe region. Players either lean too far back or too far forward. And basically what you have to do is you have to find your best way to hit that long ball. As always, I could teach you the correct technique, but you have to find that exact body position for yourself. Basically what I like to do and what I like to teach players is you wanna have your chest slightly up and you wanna have the opposite arm creating a anterior diagonal sling. So you have slings running across your body and this is gonna create a much more coordinated movement and it has to do exactly with your fascial line on that anterior diagonal chain. So as you're going up to the ball, you wanna throw that arm up, you wanna keep that chest up, and like I said, you wanna strike with that toe box, and then we're gonna talk about where to hit the ball. So you wanna hit the ball slightly underneath, but not too far underneath, so it creates a chip. The last point that I wanna talk about is you wanna come up to that ball, you wanna plant that ball next to it, but with the striking leg, you wanna almost come at an angle when you're striking that ball. So the next thing that I wanna talk about is the plant leg. We've talked about the striking leg, but the plant leg is as important because it's basically your aim leg. As I've been taught by one of the best technical coaches in the world, you have to point that plant leg to the direction that you wanna go. So for example, if your partner's in front of you, if your teammate is in front of you, you wanna point that plant leg in that frontward direction. Obviously, you're not gonna have that time during a game, during training, so that's where individual comes into play, but you gotta keep this in mind. So, two things with the plant leg. Point that toe, point that foot in the direction you want that ball to go, and then you wanna take that plant step almost even with the ball. So as you're coming up, almost even with the ball, you strike through, you follow through nicely. It's not something that you need to think about. It should be in your subconscious mind, your subconscious brain. But like I said, it's something to address during your individual training. So those of you who know me know that I'm a very practical guy. I love the theory, I love learning, but you gotta put that stuff into practice. So I talked about how to hit the perfect long ball. So now let's talk about how to train it. One of the best ways that have really improved my long ball or my one-on-one -on -one clients and all the people who've been using my app is a simple juggling drill that I like to call front spin lace juggling. So basically what you want to do is you want to take that ball, if you're a beginner, you start out of the hands and then you're creating exactly what we talked about. You're creating that toe pointed down, you're creating that locked ankle, so you're hitting the ball here on the bottom part of the ball and you want to create a front spin. So basically what you want to do is you start as a beginner out of the hands, you go one on the right, one on the left, two on the right, two on the left, three on the right, three on the left. And if you're a beginner, 
you just start there, you go up to 10, you come back down. So it's four on the right, four on the left, all the way up to 10, and then back down. If you're more advanced, you don't catch that ball. So basically what you wanna do is you can start just working with, you know, as many as you can do with proper technique like I talked about. You could start with 10 and then you switch legs. But as always, don't neglect, quote, your weak foot. What I wish I knew at a younger age is to train your weak foot as much as you do as your strong foot so you don't have to be doing any catch up. So yeah, that's how we work with the single leg, about 10, switch, and then you could go up to 50, you could go up to 100. After that, we work with alternating. So we're gonna go front spin lace juggling, alternating, one, two, one, two, three, four. I like to go in multiples of two, one, two, three, four, five, six, and you go up to eight. So you might be saying to yourself, dude, Rick, how is this juggling drill gonna help my long ball? It's simple. You do the reps of a long ball without working with a partner. So there are pros and cons to this. Obviously, the most important thing to hitting a good long ball is actually practicing the long ball. The pros to this are you can do this alone, and then one of the number one pros to this is when you're first working on your long ball and you don't have strong hip flexors, good hip mobility, hitting 20, 30, 40 long balls are very stressful on the body. So just doing this, we don't have to do a full follow through of your leg and your hip, helps you get the reps and the technique before you go into practice. One of the best ways to hit a perfect long ball no one talks about is you drink sparkling. Pellegrino. You don't touch the still. If you drink still, you probably don't hit a good long ball. So I know it's not the sexiest thing in the world and it's not all over Instagram, all over YouTube, and every single YouTube video that talks about long balls never talked about this. That's why your boy Ricky is different. If you want to be playing football for a long time, if you want to be the best player on the pitch, you have to warm up. I don't care if you're 15 years old, 16 years old, 25 years old, you have to warm up to prevent injury. Because the number one way to improve, even if you're searching all these technique videos on YouTube, is to play games and have game experience. Without game experience, you're not gonna rise up the ranks as a footballer and be a better footballer. And the number one way to have game experience is to always be available. For me, as a strength and conditioning coach, my main job is to keep my clients on the field. Especially when I'm working with big clients like Pablo Sabag, Osaze Horhoguide, Samuel Kroon, all these guys that I've worked with, my main job is to keep them on the pitch playing. If they're not playing, they can't do their job, they can't make their money. So before you work on your long ball, you have to make sure to do a proper warm up. And if you want to see what a full dynamic warm up is, you can check this one out here. But I'm going to show you one really quickly. You can do two laps around the field. And then what I want you to do is I want you to warm up your psoas, your hip rotators, and your hip flexors. So let's just show it to you really quickly. You can do 10 to 15 psoas lifts. Obviously, you're gonna do it both legs. Now you're gonna do some adductor stuff. So you're gonna do some swings. We're gonna do five from the forward direction. So you're going across and opening the leg. And five from the backward direction. And then you're gonna do 10 total. I actually have a pretty funny story when I got injured hitting long balls. I think I was 15 years old. I've always had a pretty good long ball. I don't know why, I think I've always just trained it. I've always been a pretty big guy into striking the ball. And some kid dared me to hit the, to hit the goal from the halfway line at a summer camp before we got started. So there were 10 balls on the half line and my younger self was like, all right, I'm Superman, I'm not gonna get injured. So I went over there, I hit all 10 balls without warming up, no jog, nothing to get the body warm. I actually hit, I think, six out of 10, seven out of 10 in the goal from the halfway line. But the next day I woke up and I couldn't walk. My hip flexor was absolutely shot. So that is the importance of doing that stuff. I don't care how young you are, if you do this stuff without getting a proper warm up, you're gonna get injured. 
This is for the hip rotators. Instagram's favorite, the pelvic tilts. So you go anterior, posterior pelvic tilt. Might look funny, but it works in multiple avenues in life. So last thing before we get into the long ball is the three-way hip opener. So you're gonna do 21 reps of these, seven total. Okay, I showed you a sample warm-up, but basically the best time to hit your long balls are after an individual session or after a team session. Generally what I like to do is after my team session, I take one of my buddies or I take my center back or I take my center mid, the guys who are gonna hit more long balls, and I just say to them, let's, let's stay for 10 to 15 minutes and let's have a goal of 10 good long balls each foot and after that we can leave. So obviously with that, you don't have to warm up, but if you're just working on long balls individually alone, you have to warm up. But I wouldn't recommend doing it alone, I would recommend doing it after a proper individual or a proper team session. Like I talked about, you have those three practical drills, but the best way to get better at long balls is to hit long balls. So basically what you wanna to do to make it more practical is you pick the position that you're playing at this weekend or that you usually play and implement that into the practical drill. So I'm playing left back this weekend, the coach told me what he wants me to do is receive that ball on the opposite side of the pitch and then try to hit the far striker. So basically what I'm aiming at right now is that D on the top of the 18 to hit a diagonal ball to get ourselves into the box and score goals. So most practical way to do this, like I said, is all you want to do. You can set yourself up some cones. You're going to roll that ball out do all the technique that we've talked about and pop that ball perfectly like your boy Ricky into the 18. Now I gotta go run and get the ball. <laughs> Obviously, when working with your teammate, your goal is to try to hit his chest. <laughs> Zeus! What's going on? We are back. Sorry, we're still not at the field. Camera died. Your boy Ricky took a shower. Now we're eating some brown rice, veggies, some lean meat, of course, some hot sauce. Make sure you go to the link below in the description to check out our five-day free masterclass on how to become a pro. This is everything that I have learned that I want to deliver to you that I wish I knew when I was 13 years old and I want to play professional football for Liverpool. Everything you need is in there. $1,500 worth of value for free. All you gotta do is you enter your email and you're gonna get five days free of courses on how to become a pro. The first day we talk about gym work, you get a one month free gym program. The second month we talk about nutrition, you get a free fat loss guide. The third day we talk about learning from pros, you get 72 free crusher workouts. Day four we talk about the number one football tool for you to become more confident on the ball and on the pitch and you get a free ball mastery program, 14 days. And the last day you get a free eight week body weight program and I talk to you about how to plan your gym work. See you in the next video. Have a great day. Stay safe, stay healthy. Deuces.